G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here. My name is Fancy Felix and welcome to my brand new channel. Today we're going to be having a little look at a game called Jazz Jack Rabbit. Uh, it was released in 1994 on the 30th of July, developed by Epic Mega Games, and it was actually the mascot for quite a while actually. This gun-wielding rabbit. Um, actually, Jazz Jack Rabbit is also known as Sonic with a Gun. Taking obvious inspiration from Sonic. So, let's have a look here. Designed by Arjan Brusi, I think it is. And of course, Cliff Blazinski, who went on to do the Gears of War series. Which I know really very little about, honestly. But I know they are damn popular with some people. Now, I'm currently playing the shareware version. Which, as a kid, is all I had. This game is very... Very special to me, actually. Because it's the first game I have ever played in my entire life. I was uh, three years old. In the back room of our house, my dad actually... He worked with computers a lot. I'm not sure exactly what he was doing at the time. But he had all these computers. And one of them... He pretty much gave to me. And chucked it in this crappy little room at the back of our house. And I was three years old. And we booted it up and he installed this uh, shareware version of Jazz Jack Rabbit from a floppy disk. And... I was absolutely enchanted by this thing, like, you would not believe. I only had the shareware version, like I said, but I played through this demo, it must have been at least, I'm not even joking, probably about 400 times. So I just loved it so much. The, just the graphics and the music, the sounds. It has aged pretty well, you gotta admit, for a DOS game. Some of them are absolutely horrendous, but... While not perfect, this one is... Really... Great looking and... Still fun to play today. Now, as for the story... Uh... Let's see here. Oh yeah! It was about... Devon Shell who is a tortoise, kidnapping Eva Ilong in order to take over or gain control of the planet Caratus, which is uh, interesting. No, not really. It's not really interesting, but Caratus, come on, give him credit. And uh, it's obviously based on the, well, I mean the whole concept of a rabbit and a turtle is based on the Aesop's fable, the uh, tortoise and the hare. So that's mildly interesting. So yeah, we're a pissed off rabbit with a gun and a bandana, wrist braces. And the goal of the game is basically to get to the end of each stage. I think each world has two stages and then a third stage which is a boss battle. So yeah, every world culminates in a boss battle. Uh, you run along, you shoot these, um... Well, you shoot everything really. You grab these little floppy disks, give you... They just give you points as far as I can tell. Just points. These little bubbles here give you extra ammo for the weapon you have, I think. Yep. And uh, there's a variety of different weaponry, which always thrilled me as a kid. I was obsessed with missiles when I was a child. I have no idea why. But like any young boy, weaponry and stuff. Guns. Guns interested me a little bit. But missiles were like this shit. Awesome. I just want a missile. 
I don't know what I would have done with it if I had one, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, the standard weapon is this little blaster here, fairly unremarkable. Picked up a toaster, which is essentially a stronger version of the blaster. The rapid fire missile, I believe that's what RF stands for, I assume so. What's this thing? Oh, that's some kind of shield, yeah, I remember this. Let's shoot all these. Oh no, okay. Looks like it protects me from one hit. Get those turtles. Ah, fucking B. Just so thrilled to be able to play this again after all these years. Ah, oh, my childhood. It's almost, it's almost sad how much time I wasted playing this game when I was three years old. But I don't really regret it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I should also make mention of the fact that, uh... Epic Mega Games was pretty much the go-to company for... Oh wow. Oh yes, I always love this. It's like a super speed running boost. Epic Mega Games was pretty much the go-to company for great DOS games, for my money. I'll probably have a look at some other of, uh, some other games by them in the future. And what a name too. I'm sure it's been mentioned before, but Epic Mega Games? Come on, that's a great name for a company. Epic Mega Games. You know you're getting some good shit when you fucking see that logo. So being that this came out in 1994, it must have just come out when I started playing as a kid. Yeah, that's why I would have had the demo version. Makes sense. Alright, level clear. Very smug looking jazz there with a the smoking gun. Ah oh, yes, the bonus level. I remember this. And I remember hating it so much. The controls are just, oh, so slippery. So the idea is to collect all the gems, reward, I think it's just some extra lives really. I do remember loving the music though. All the music really in this game is, okay, can't walk in the hands. Alright, can't go that way at all. All the music in this game is pretty phenomenal actually, as far as I'm concerned. Most notably, I think it's the second world which we'll be coming up to. It's called Tube Electric. I just love, it's one of the absolute best video game level songs ever. Exit. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to hit that. Here we go, Tube Electric. I'm gonna shut the hell up as soon as this starts. Just have a listen. It gets better, just listen. Isn't it glorious? Oh, I love it so much. And you might have noticed that I just picked up a different kind of weapon back there. My favorite weapon in the game. What's it called? The launcher. Alright. Launcher, pretty basic. Shouldn't have forgot that, but whatever. It's just fun to use. It shoots these... yeah. Shoots these little... I don't even know what they are. These little blue packages that just bounce around like nuts. And kill anything they come into contact with. It's so glorious. My favorite weapon in the game. 
And my favorite level this has got to be. Oh, what are those? They look like little game pads. Almost like an SNES controller, but I don't think they quite are. Just more points I think they give you. So yeah, you'll notice uh, every level has, every world I should say, has a great, greatly varied theme. Very colorful, very imaginative, very appealing. Ah, uh, and this level even has this trippy section down here, I remember, it's just so good. And also, obviously, from before when I mentioned each world culminates in a boss battle, I was wrong. Each episode, I remember now, culminates in a boss battle. There are four worlds in each episode. This being the shareware version, uh, gives you f the first four worlds for free. You gotta pay for the rest. And, uh, that's why I never played any more than the first four worlds. I will someday. Maybe. I can't actually find a full version of Jazz Jack Rabbit. I haven't looked especially hard. I know it's got to be out there somewhere though. Okay, I can't go back in the tube. How do I get out of here then, huh? Oh, come on. Alright. I didn't think just forcing my way in would work, but... Hey, can't complain. More controllers for me. Huh, ah, level finished. Alright, cool. I wish I gave you more time to review your score. Not that I care that much, but... You hear me, devs? You gotta make some adjustments to this one. Oh, these things always creep me out a little bit as a kid. You know... Now I'm looking at them, I realize they are eyeballs. But for some reason, as a kid, I thought that was skulls. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about with that. I don't know if you can see it. I had a strange imagination. I don't know what these are, just more points? Yeah, it looks like it. Back in the days when people cared about points. Alright, how do I get out of here? Oh, there's another invisible tube. And these things always made me feel uncomfortable. As well now that I think about it. My weird imagination again. But uh, they kind of look like nipples. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but... But I don't know how to finish that sentence. Alright, kill the eyes. Alright, can't go in there. Ugh, oh, which way do I go? Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, shh. That did not feel very nice. Checkpoint. Yeah, give me more launches. I mean, yes, launches. Come on, memory, work with me. I always love going through these tubes as well. Just the speed of this game, the blast processing. Absolutely mind-blowing. The speed of it all. And I tell you what, MS-DOS does what Nintendo don't. And what Sega don't. Because this game is faster than any Sonic game. Uh, at least on the Genesis. As far as I'm concerned, this Jazz Jack Rabbit is actually a little tricky to control because he goes a bit too fast. And you'll notice that if you ever feel like downloading and trialing this for yourself, I totally recommend it. But yeah, the screen moves at a pretty incredible pace if you let it. Medivo. Alright, Medivo. Oh, this one had great music too. They all did. 
Okay, now our standard point items are goblets now. What are these things? I could never figure it out. They're obviously wearing some kind of like centurion helmet or something. But what is under the helmet? I don't know. And I'm gonna have to make a correction for the third time. I think there are three worlds in a uh, chapter. And I think the third one ends in a boss battle, so we'll get to that. I might be able to finish this uh, this whole shareware version and then we'll call it a day, huh? Oh no, death! Not good, bad! Oh no, I gotta be more careful, alright. Get out of my way. Uh, always hated these swords. Creep me out as well. Everything scared me as a child. Everything, but there's something a bit chilling about these like sentient swords. Coming after you, trying to spear me. Oh. All right, I'm coming for you, Devon. Devon Shell. Let's not forget our motivation here. Got to get the evil turtle and save Eva Elon. I think her name is, yeah. I don't know if that's my girlfriend or just the princess. Maybe both. Who knows? What rabbits do in their spare time is none of my business. Uh. Oh, yeah, here's the lava. I remember that. Get them goblets. I'm gonna save my launches for now. You know, compared to like uh, modern games, the weapon variety you know, in a game where you have a gun is kind of limited. And weapons are there's only three, as far as I can tell. But man, that was enough. Absolutely more than enough. And I'm not even going to kill these little turtles, they're not hurting anyone. Kind of cute, huh? Oh, hello. This is always my favorite bit ever. The rocket surfboard type thing. Look at his little dance while he's riding it. He's, he's, he's like totally chilling out there. Totally like hanging 10, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, why is there a rocket board in this medieval castle? Oh god, that was close. You can die. Checkpoint, thank you. Oh no, if you touch something with it, it goes. I forgot about that. I remember when I was little, I had perfected the art of holding onto that thing to the very end of the stage. And you'd hope I would after. 400 plays or whatever. Just listen to the music. Again, I'm going to shut up for a sec. Just wait for the bit with the orchestral hits. Wait for it. Oh no, it's quite a bit of the music. Away from his swords. All right, I'm gonna be quiet again once that uh, bit in the song starts up, cause it's awesome. All right, I think this is the final stage, boss time almost. I think death awaits me if I fall down there, so I'm not going to fucking avoid it. Ah, why well you do this? I don't know. Looks like a whole lot of nothing that would have awaited me. Oh my god. Stop it! No! Bad! Turtle bro, you're cool. You can just do a little running dance. 
All day and night for all I care. Oops, then I kill him. Alright, sorry. <laughs> uh, invincibility magic stuff. Totally rip right out of Sonic, but I didn't know that at the time and I still don't care. I'm just happy to be indestructible. Why wouldn't you be? Oh no, I'm killing little turtles. Sorry. Uh, stay away. Yes, checkpoint. That's what I was after. Alright. Die, weapons, die! Gotta kill all the swords. And, uh, make my way across these balls. I don't know. I mean, they are clearly balls, but what kind of balls? What purpose do they serve? What is their function? Oh no! Death! Actually, gotta be more careful because there are limited lives on this one. This one being this game. I'd rather not get game over and end this on a low note. Alright, navigate the balls. Navigate the balls. Come on. No, no, no. Again, it's so fast. You gotta. Gotta bear with me here. Collect as many guns as possible because I am gonna need them for the final boss. Yeah. I'm sorry, turtles. You're gonna have to just be caught in the crossfire here. Nope, 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 die. Ugh. Blast is probably better for these things. Alright, third level done. I think that was the third level. Ooh, I'm totally lost. Just forget everything I've said about how the worlds and levels and stages and boss battles are set up. Ah, Guardian level one. Here we go. I don't know why it's called Guardian. It's a Devon Shell boss battle. And it's a mysterious off center question mark. Get ready. Oh, I listen to the music on this one. I'm gonna shut up. Rapid fire. No, I'm not gonna shut up. Here we go. Ow. Oh, die you turtle. Oh no. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's it? I had so much trouble with this as a kid. Oh, it's embarrassing. I thought that'd take forever. How anticlimactic. And here we go. Here's the screen you get after you finish the shareware version of Jazz Jackrabbit. Good old thumbs up there, Jazz's adventures are just starting. Right now, the hideously dorky Devon Shell is constructing twin mega battleships to blow up Jazz's home planet, Caratus. Eva Earlong awaits. And there she is. Take your time, Jazz. Let's not keep her waiting. And I did for 20 years. And I'm still going to keep her waiting because I can't pay out for the full game. And here's your credit card information. If you want to buy, had enough excitement? We didn't think so. To order all six jazz adventures. You know, you get 36 levels, 12 bonus levels, 49 enemies? No way! 20 original tunes. Sounds good. Oh, and this always used to tease me so much. Looking at this, it's like, I don't have these levels. Stop. Look at all this awesomeness I'm missing out on. Absolutely heartbreaking. And then I would, uh... Just... <laughs> Sign up for Epic's electronic mailing list. 
aka email. Oh my god, it's so dated and beautiful. But yeah, then I just go back to this menu and start it all over again. Hey, thanks for watching my very first episode. This was Jazz Jackrabbit. I totally recommend you grabbing DOSBox, downloading the shareware version like I have, and uh, giving it a good old go. It's a lot of fun. If you like this video, please drop me a like, maybe even consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you next time, hopefully.